Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we are back with some more LEGO Harry Potter years 5 through 7, and we are in the home stretch of our free room. We're going to cover the Great Hall entrance as well as the Great Hall and the 7th floor corridor here, and that's only leaving a couple areas left. We got Weasley's Courtyard and Storage as well as the Nocturne Alley. So we're going to take a quick peek at our map right here. We're going to focus on the old pink area up here in the upper left. Thanks to Bonefish Gamer for creating such a lovely map that we've used throughout this entire series. And taking a quick peek at our collectibles and starting right where we left off in the old divination class. Oh, excuse me. Divination courtyard. And uh, we're going to make our way back through the classroom corridor over to the far left and take the upper pathway out of hell into the entrance hall, which then drops us. Well, we're going to take the lower back entrance into the great hall entrance dun, 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 dun. so yeah we're gonna head up and take a quick peek at the old ghost guide and see what we got looks like a couple of tokens a red and a gold brick as well as a student in peril so hey let's go ahead and light this torch over here in the front right or actually the back right corner i guess and we'll go ahead and find the character token for dean thomas hiding behind that so uh quick and easy and look, look, look over on the left hand side we'll go ahead and target filch with, uh, yeah, with the focus, which then uh, we find that he needs a broom. He's going to do a little sweeping, is he? So uh, look at that. He gets he gets a little overexcited, if you ask me, regarding a broom. But hey, you know, uh, unless you're the Wicked Witch, probably shouldn't be that excited. But anyhow, we are going to go ahead and collect our gold brick and switch on over to the Weasley of your choice. And you can see we actually are going to open up and find some sticky trainers here to go ahead and walk up the wall. Once we get up top, we're going to blast the silver lock off with Reducto and hit that chest one more time. And look at that. Thank you very much. We'll go ahead and collect Ron in his green shirt. That's actually one that I'm pretty sure we haven't used. At least I don't remember using him. But all right, over on the far right wall, we're going to find, uh, well, a cauldron. We're going to go ahead and take a little sip of some Polyjuice Potion so we can go ahead and get ourselves a Dark Magic character. We're going to still stick with Grindelwald. Now, you may have purchased some other ones or have some other ones available. You're welcome to use whoever you so please. Now, over on the right, though, you probably noticed a black and red box. We're going to shake things up with Dark Magic and rebuild the pieces that are left into this little buggy. And it's me, me. It drives kind of a little circle and, of course, leaves the character token behind over there. And uh, actually, I, I psych, it's not a character token, it's a red brick! See, I made you look, too. I bet you were like, wait a minute, it says red brick, right? But yes, it is a red brick. My bad. Uh, trying to do too many things at once. Trying to look at my notes, trying to talk, and yeah. So, here we go. We uh, go ahead and drop this red brick off with who? You guessed it, the owl over on the right-hand side, and it's going to give us the old Hogwarts Crest Detector, which, at this point, if you've been following along, is completely useless, as we have all of them already. So, uh, We're going to switch to Ron, use the Deluminator Lamp Source Point just to the left of the main hall entrance there, and over on the right, right above where we shook that dark magic box up, we're going to go ahead and deploy our Deluminator Lamp, and look at that, we get to turn another frown upside down. And look at that, yeah, don't forget them studs, Brian. Don't forget them studs. Got to get them all. All right, so we are getting pretty close to having this area wrapped up. And uh, I probably should have done a better job of looking at the old ghost for the area, but I didn't. So we'll come back to that later. Inside the Great Hall, we actually find another ghost. But uh, he's all the way in the back left corner. And we actually have to take this red brick that we find by using some dark magic all the way back there so we thought rather than double back and waste a bunch of time we'd grab it and take it back there and i promise we get a quick look at the old ghost guide before we drop this off there you go we got gold and a red and a student in peril as well as three character tokens and one of those tokens i swear it gives me a run for my money you can go ahead and watch me struggle and get it easily on your own so hey here's another one of those auto save points i don't know why it was doing this in the last few areas of our free room I really don't. But uh, you probably noticed we did get that uh, red brick for the old, uh, what was it, uh, character stats. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and focus on these three golden platters on the table. They all need a little Leviosa to go ahead and flip over. And once you get all three of them, you can go ahead and collect that gold brick. That's right. We are getting really close. In fact, we actually purchased 16 of those gold bricks in uh, Morgan and Burke. So, 
Turns out we actually only have a couple more to collect, really. And then we have a whole bunch to purchase, so that's a whole other story. But I'm actually, uh, right now, I'm attempting to knock out that character token I was talking about, that one that gives me trouble. Uh, there's a fruit on the table that you're supposed to zap. But the information I had was it makes sense now that it's all over and done with. But it was a little confusing because it said something like the furthest table away has a bowl of fruit on it. Simply smash it. Now, okay, the furthest to me, like knowing where the entrance is, the furthest to me would probably be that back table on the wall back by the ghost guide. But if that's not it, then it would probably be the one towards the far left side over here on the screen because the doorway's on the right, so that would kind of be the furthest away too, right? But it's not. It's actually the one on the far right that has the table. We'll come back to that. We are going to go all the way to the back left corner, though, and we are going to zap that silver platter that actually has a student in peril inside. So that's right. Turn a frown upside down, and we will go ahead and jump for joy. Nah, I guess we... Oh, yes, we do. Du, 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 du. All right, so make your way back down, and let's see here. We got... We, we're we're going to find this character token, I promise you. But uh, I'm not there yet. I, I still work my way all the way. I think I hit every plate of fruit. Uh, and, and look, I just happened to miss this one. It's literally right there in front of the fireplace is where we want on the right-hand side. I'm targeting everything everywhere. And uh, nope, still can't find it. So I go to the next one, which is back here on the back left corner. It's the Bloody Baron. He was wrapped up inside one of those banners behind that far furthest table. Now, next up, we've got a bookcase in the front right corner that we actually have not paid attention to. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. And up, I got a little button happy and push the button too quick. And look at that. I actually messed it up. So hopefully uh, you won't uh, laugh at me too hard on that one. But oh, we got candles. OK, so what, what do we do with three candles? Uh, all right. Anytime now. The game didn't give me control of Hermione back for quite some time there. Please. I thought the game froze on me. But look at that. You blast all three of them, and we're going to go ahead and get Penelope. That's right, Penelope. No, I know it's Penelope, but it's funner to say Penelope, isn't it? <laughs> Anybody know what movie I got that from? There's a main character. Her name was Penelope, and uh, uh, one of the other main characters referred to her as Penelope. It's kind of a terrible movie, but at the same time, it's kind of good. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, if you know, drop me a comment down below and we can laugh together about whether it's good or bad. And all right, so back to that last character token on that fruit dish. Boy, uh, I am not thrilled about this. You can see I've got everything else. I got the gold, the red, and we've turned that frown upside down. Uh, I've got that one character token. And I know I've already told you it's in front of the fireplace on the far right over here. But you can tell by the character token notation down there that we're getting close. And I find this bowl of fruit. It's the only one I didn't zap like 17 times. Look, and look at Hermione, like, flip her hair back. Did you see that? She's like, I knew it was there the whole time. That's right. And I'd like to say that I did, but then that would just be me wasting time. And that's really not the case. I had no clue. I was I was thinking I was maybe going to have to restart this over because, like, the game glitched and the fruit wasn't giving me my character token or something. But anyhow, we went ahead and got it at the last minute. Whew. Again, she flips her hair back like, no big deal. Totally got this. But we're going to head over to the left-hand side. So follow the Great Hall entrance over to that little... I guess it's a corridor, and it takes us to the seventh floor corridor. Look at that. We actually have five character tokens, a gold, a red, as well as a frown to turn upside down. And this one actually starts off pretty easy, and they all go by pretty quick, so don't blink, or you might miss one or two for that matter. So, uh, all right, there is a knight in shining armor on the left-hand side. Go ahead and use Leviosa to tickle his nose with the feather, and then he goes after it and falls, and boom, we got the token. Next up, there is a knight on the far right. Now, try not to <laughs> try not to smash any of the uh, innocent bystanders passing by, but uh, you do need to zap this guy three times, and it can't be a quick three. It has to uh, let him go through that quick animation. And once you get him all three times, he drops to the ground and gives us Vincent Crab, the distant relative to Alan Crab, the Portland Trailblazer. No, I'm just kidding. He might not be. By the time you watch this, he might get traded. You never know. All right, uh, there are two little back pathways uh, and on each of the pathways there's a left one and a right one each one has two lamps hanging down simply use leviosa on both of them on both sides to get all four of them and check it out there's three and the last one is right back here number four we'll go ahead and what do we get this time well i guess not much of a surprise as i already have it labeled there it's cormac mcwagon that's a crazy last name mclagan hopefully he's not a professional gamer too that would be a terrible name 
for a professional gamer. Yeah, my, my name's McLaggin. You know, everyone's going to think you're a cheater, that you're getting help from the lag. Anyhow, oh, did I mess that one up too? Ah, my bad. Anyhow, uh, we'll go ahead and hack this bookcase, finally. And look at that, Dirk Cresswell. All right, we got him added. Next up is Blaze in the Black Shirt. And this one is actually going to be uh, over on the left-hand side, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see here. We, uh, what do we got to do? What do we got to do? Oh, yeah, that's right. We got to run all the way down and around. And, yeah, we've got, uh, is that one of them? Oh, it is. Yeah, we got it. That's right. Okay. Okay. My bad. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking down at my notes instead of on screen. So there are four. Is it four? Four of these little, uh, I don't know what they are. Little things. We need torches. We need to light up. And uh, there was two over there on the far right. I guess maybe that's one of them, too. I don't know. I, I, so basically, any torches in the area that aren't there, get them. I apologize. I'd been in this area before, and I accidentally activated one or maybe two of them. So it was a little confusing to me. But hey, right next to this last one that we needed, there is a student in peril. Simply zap him, and you guys can both jump for joy. Whoa, looks like Hermione's got a big head there, doesn't it? <laughs> That was a little uh, crazy, 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 crazy. All right, the red brick is actually on the left little corridor here. It's back. There was a silver statue here. I accidentally zapped him during the story section when we were coming through here. So that's why the red brick was already out on the ground. It is the stud magnet, so this one could have uh, provided some use. I probably should have grabbed it when I found it earlier. But I wanted to save it for this point in the video because I hate going, oh, just kind of like that last little uh, torch that I needed. It was like, oh. Uh, I don't know uh, which one it was. I hate doing that, but you can tell. There are certain ones that, that you don't flip the lid around, and like the one in the back left corner is certainly one. Uh, that is not one. So yeah, you can certainly figure out the differences. There are different scattered ones around here. One might even be right by the entrance where you came in, now that I'm thinking about it. All right, in that back left corner, right by where we got the red brick before we took it to the owl, there is a box. Go ahead and shake it up and grab the gold brick. Shake it up. That's right. And look at that. We've got, I think that's everything, right? That's everything. So we're going to go ahead and check out our ghost guide and just verify real quick that that is indeed everything. And guess what? That's only going to leave two more areas of free roamage that, well... It's a couple more than two because we kind of combine a few. But, uh, yeah, yeah, but hey, look at that. 65.7%. One red brick left. One student in peril left. It's actually weird, too. We actually find two more. But spoiler alert. We'll get to that later. I'm not really sure why. Uh, I didn't get any of them twice or anything, but I, I feel like there's 61, not 60. So, uh, oh, to the app. Uh, you know what this screen means? It's going to wrap it up for Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7, the Great Hall entrance, where we got all the collectibles and scattered out through free roam. Hopefully you guys found it interesting and helpful. And, hey, feel free to drop some comments down below or follow the links in our video description to our social pages and, you know, follow us, connect with other gamers like yourself, maybe even uh, check out our Patreon.com account. I noticed that one... One of you guys actually became a $10 uh, supporter today, so I appreciate that. You will get a shout-out in our next video, so woo to the who for me and you. That's right. Uh, it's a little, little too much excitement, I think. I'm going to tone it down a little for the ending here. So, as always, until next time. See ya.